Welcome to the Swine Nutrition Black Belt Podcast, the latest swine nutrition research digested for you. My name is Clayton Chastain, your host for today's episode. Today we have with us Dr. Charmaine Espinoza, a postdoc researcher with Dr. Hans Stein at the University of Illinois. How are you doing today, Charmaine? Hi, Clayton. I'm doing good. I hope you're doing well, too. Um, thanks for having me in this podcast. Yeah, thanks for coming on. So, Charmaine, would you mind sharing with us those studies that you conducted on the high oil corn? Sure. So actually, the use of high oil corn in pig diets has been introduced as early as the 1980s. And therefore, we have seen these different cultivars of high oil corn in the past few years. And uh, the recent work that we've done in our laboratory is a novel source of high oil corn. And uh, what we really did was take a closer look into it to really determine the nutritional value or feeding value of this hybrid corn in pig diets. So what we first determined in our laboratory was to analyze the nutrient composition of this high oil corn source and compare it with our conventional grain, the corn grain. So um, what we demonstrated is that these high oil corn have greater concentration of amino acids, more phosphorus, a uh, greater concentration of fat as well. And this translates to a greater concentration of gross energy when we compare it with our conventional corn. However, as nutritionists, we know for a fact that uh, we need to know uh, how pigs digest and absorb well this extra protein and extra energy that we observed in this high oil corn grain. So uh, what our team did and what our team specialty is to determine the nutrient digestibility of different feed ingredients and diets fed to pigs. So in this case, uh, the high oil corn grain. And so we conducted two digestibility experiments. So the first one is an amino acid digestibility to really determine the value of digestible amino acids that we have in the high oil corn grain. So the results from the first experiment in the amino acid digestibility experiment is that aside from having greater concentration of amino acids, we also demonstrated greater digestibility of amino acids in the high oil corn grain compared in comparison with the conventional corn grain. In that standpoint, we can conclude that high oil corn grain had greater concentration of standardized ileal digestible amino acids compared with the conventional corn grain. And the second experiment that we uh, conducted was to determine the concentration of metabolizable energy and digestible phosphorus in high oil corn grain compared with our conventional corn. And what we uh, observed is that the high oil corn grain contained greater concentration of metabolizable energy. And this translates to an extra 300 kilocalories energy per kilogram of the high oil corn grain compared with the conventional corn. And what's most interesting is that aside from having greater concentration of phosphorus in the high oil corn grain, we also demonstrated that high oil corn grain had greater digestibility of phosphorus compared with the conventional corn. So we do not have an exact uh, reason why we have um, increased digestibility of phosphorus, probably because of uh, increased concentration of non phytate uh, bound phosphorus in this high oil corn grain. But I guess further research is needed to confirm this. Gotcha. So... One question I had on the high oil corn. Um, so obviously it varies on suppliers and locations, but how do the economics compare with high oil corn versus conventional corn? Is it possible that this can be, you know, economically worth it for the producer to switch to high oil corn for certain diets without it being too much more expensive? Yes, with the realization that we have with high oil corn having greater concentration of digestible amino acids, phosphorus, and energy, we hypothesize that if you include high oil corn in your pig diets, we would reduce the need to include a lot of soybean meal, extracted oil or added fat, and even feed phosphates in your diets. Therefore, we actually conducted a follow-up study 
uh, nursery trial study where uh, we wanted to determine the effect of including high oil corn in pig diets. And in this study, we actually used the nutrient digestibility coefficients that we generated from the digestibility experiments that we conducted and used these to formulate diets containing high oil corn. And therefore, we have two dietary treatments. We have the high oil corn diet and the conventional corn diet. And in this uh, study, we wanted to formulate diets with the exact same, uh, with the exact nutrient profile. So we have exact uh, calculated gross energy, amino acids as well, and phosphorus. Therefore, with the objective that we have exactly the same calculated gross energy or metabolizable energy and digestible amino acids in pig diet formulation, we were able to reduce the concentration of soybean meal by around 3 to 4% in the high or corn diet. And also we were able to reduce the concentration of soybean oil at around 2.5%. And with the formulated diets having this way, we wanted to test the hypothesis that pigs will perform the same since we have the same nutrient profile in these two diets. And what the results uh, told us is that we confirmed that pigs performed the same way and no difference was detected in growth performance parameters. Therefore, with, the, uh, with this trial, this kind of indirectly tells you the economic value of using high oil corn grain in your pig diets by reducing the amount of soybean meal that you have by around 3 to 4% and by reducing your soybean oil by around 2.5% in your nursery pig diets. Oh, interesting. So yeah, I can, it might be a little bit more expensive, but yeah, it's good that it can help cut back some costs on other expensive ingredients in the diet. Yes. So one other question I had, um, and I just wanted to confirm this, I think you answered it earlier. So the high oil corn, it has increased concentrations of amino acid energy, as well as increased digestibility. Yes, so um, this uh, cultivar of hybrid corn, the high oil corn grain, they were designed to have greater concentration of fat, around 9%, and greater concentration of amino acids and phosphorus as well. Um, we tested this in our pigs, and before we assumed that they have uh, the same digestibility of nutrients when we compared with our conventional corn. But it's interesting to know that not only the high oil corn grain have greater concentration of nutrients, we also demonstrated that these high oil corn grain have greater digestibility of nutrients. And therefore, when we translate that to the concentration of digestible nutrients, all in all, high oil corn grain have greater concentration of digestible amino acids, phosphorus, and energy. So in one single grain, you have increased concentration of nutrients that can be uh, accessible to your uh, pigs. Very interesting. Well, thank you for coming on the show and sharing with that. I believe that's all the time we have. And to everyone else, thank you for listening to the Swine Nutrition Black Belt podcast. Please visit us at swinenutritionblackbelt.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our podcast channel so you won't miss out on the next episode. See you next week. Hey, everyone. We're always searching for the latest and greatest research to share each week. If you have a swine nutrition related research trial and would like to come on the show to talk about it and share with us, feel free to send an email to nutritionblackbelt at swineit.com and we would love to take a look at your research. <laughs>